go. And we're up and running. Alright everybody, welcome back. Got Tub Farmer here and Chris Larkin. Back at it again today on Meadow Grove. We haven't played this one in a little bit. Matter of fact, it took us a little while to figure out exactly where we left off and trying to figure out <laughs> what did we need to do here. So, first and foremost, we want to welcome you to our channels. Uh, got Tub Farmer and Chris Larkin. Make sure to check us out and hit and smash the like button and subscribe. And also, we are console players. Uh, we play on PlayStation 4. We have our own uh, farming community. It's called Superior FS Farming, PlayStation 4 edition. Make sure to go check us out. Uh, we're pretty semi-serious farmers. Uh, we, do, we don't hire workers or anything like that. Uh, we pretty much farm uh, all of our stuff our own. We don't have any money cheats or anything like that. And we're just trying to bring y'all some, you know, good content. We also like to, if somebody that doesn't really know a whole lot about Farm Sim, they just got on and they're kind of learning, uh, we're definitely here to help out and answer any questions that you might have to make your farming experience better. But uh, anyway, we welcome you and we hope you enjoy. How are we going now? So what, um, um, uh, what's happening at the moment in Lisbon? We're just trying to find our feet again. Um, as Tubbs rightly put it, we haven't done this now for at least, what, two weeks? Mm. Three weeks? It's, it's been a while. Um, mm -hmm. So we're trying to find out where we left off. Um, we kind of got muddled up at the start. We didn't know what was happening, what I was doing. So um, Tubbs is up in uh, field 14. What he's doing at the moment now, he's harvesting, I think it's our oats. It's canola. Oats. Canola. Canola. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'm doing is I'm down in the shop. I'm just going to sell our uh, fertilizer and lime spreader. Um, and I'm going to upgrade it um, to the next one that we need to get. Perfect. So, I've just sold the um, Amazon SAU, which was only 1800 litres, and I am now going to buy the new Kuhn Axis 402 Plus, which can go up to uh, 3200 uh, 3, litres. Um, I don't think we need any mud guards or anything like that, no transport wheels, uh, covers, no, we're up here, 24 metres perfect that's all we need to do getting a little bit of lag I don't know why seems like about this time in the afternoon there's always a little bit of lag though for some reason um, there's nothing else I need to get when I'm down here is there mm, not that not that I can remember that we talked about that was the only thing that we needed to update for sure. It was definitely too small for what we're thinking. Plus, it, seem, it seems like to me, I know it probably isn't, but it seems like the lime lasts longer in the coon for some reason. It may be just me just thinking that it does. Oh, those, um, plus, like uh, the fact that it's a uh, 24 meters instead of what was it? Well, and that's that's probably meters. yeah. The other one was 12, and that's probably it because it has the 3200 meters or 32 3200 liters. Yeah. So, um, guys, what's happening at the moment is fields that need lining is um, field 47, 46, and field 20. It is. So they need Lyman. Uh, field 17 and 18 has straw that needs to be picked up. Uh, as I said, field 14 is oh, in the I'm middle of being harvested. <laughs> I'm just sitting there listening and 
I'm full. I'm just driving along. Yeah, even though little blues up there waiting for you. Yeah, I got him up here in the corner. Yeah, guys, so, um, if you ever hear us talk about little blue and little grey, that's our two trucks that we have. Uh, we have kind of names for, I think, most everything that we use, so we're really keep up with it. All except for the new 2K tractors we bought. Yeah, um, we don't name them because of them are the same, so it's very, yeah. well, very hard to distinguish one from the other, you know. So, but we, we will be upgrading. Um, what we are going to try and do is we're going to try out the new German tractor that came out there not so long ago. Um, we will also try out the Ursus and stuff like that because uh, as we've been discussing for the last couple of days, we will be holding a live 24 hours shortly and they're the kind of tractors we'll be using. Yeah, we'll have to get used to well, it's not really getting used to them. It's more than not getting used to the power and you know, the horsepower that, that, that it's going to be giving us. That's, that's what, yeah, that's what I meant by that statement. Because I've, I've actually never used any of them. So. Now, I, I take that back. I've used the Ursus 117. Because, uh, wasn't it? So, Snowfka had the Ursus pl placed on it. In in the uh, what wouldn't called new farmer, but the easy mode. I was trying to think how did it have it listed out back then. It was easy uh, up to hard. Well, what I would like to see it come back. Um, I hope it comes back shortly. Um, do you remember the Fiat Agra? Well, Agro. Uh, the which one? Uh, the Fiat. Oh, um, yes, like yeah. You can change it then into um, the New Holland version of it. Mm hmm. Yeah, um, I hope they come back. They may do it. Because it seems like a lot of the 17 mods, especially giant mods, have already been dumped into uh, the mod hub so far, so. But you know, that little. I, there was a. Do you remember that little six meter plow? I love that thing. I can't. It wasn't. It wasn't a Jimpa pack. It was the other one that they came out with a little bit later. You could. You could drive it in reverse, and it would still plow. Fold it up into two little wings. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm oh, not I I love that person. one. Well, I was watching. The only th reason it made me think about that is I was watching uh, Farmer Men. And of course, he's PC now mainly, and he has it as a mod on his, and he was using it. I love that thing. So, for instance, the the neat, and it was a glitch in it. So, if you ran it the proper way, uh, with the harrows facing, you know, the tractor, uh, if you got a tractor that didn't have enough horsepower, it couldn't pull it. But if you hooked it up backwards and ran it backwards. It, you could have a 90 horse tractor and it would pull it and it pull it to full speed and so it was like the perfect little uh, 6 meter plow it, it, it's actually better than the uh, Neo in my opinion but they haven't modded that in, into this was that not the Lemkin? was that not a Lemkin? It may have been a Limpkin plow. I can't remember the name of it. It just totally escapes me right now. But I love that little thing. Yeah, could have been a Limpkin. Then again, Limpkin 17 was a really good uh, pack. You know, so mm -hmm. like what, you could actually join, you know, join them together and everything else. And yeah, you hook up the different gangs yeah. uh, and then make you could go from 4 to 8 or whatever meters that you wanted to matter of fact that's how I used to run my mower I would buy the attachment tool that went to the uh, tractor and then I would hook two disc binds to that and then I would have the butterfly mowers on the front of the tractor and I could mow it was 19 and a half inches meters or something other like that it was insane
and I forgot where I learned that from. I think it may have been Mr. Seeley P or somebody like that. I can't remember. Um, have you um, looked at our 1.4, well, 1.7 on console update? I I tried to watch it this morning when I was exercising, but, you know, when you're moving around quite a bit, I couldn't read. And, you know, I, I, try, I, I try to There's listen. Yeah, There's so uh, FS uh, Farm Group, he put it out, but it was a written version. And so when I was exercising, I couldn't read. I saw it scrolling. And I was like, oh, man, I can't, I can't read that. I, I tried to find somebody else that maybe talked about them or said them that way you know you can listen while you're working out but hard to read yeah, so there's, uh, there's one and a half pages of them updates yeah some of them that I read did, did, it didn't make sense to me like I haven't been having a problem so I don't know why uh, they would be doing it that way you know yeah no like there's a few things now that I haven't like to say that to fix but I haven't come across it yet but then they can only go into um, like there's one or two uh, tractor sounds and stuff that are supposed to be modified and to me there's still no difference with the tractors exactly yeah exactly alright so I've oh gosh shut off the engine um so I finished up here I'm gonna get to I'll get and uh, fertilize and cult. Or you got the fertilizer. I'll yeah, cultivate. Um, I'll, co I'll come. come Do we really? I thought I already cultivated all that. Man, what oh. a. Oh, I thought I did that in this. No. All this needs to be done down here. Um, no. Cultivated. Um, it will need to be uh, fertilized. Well, not all of it. Just. Uh, the cot cotton fields will need to be cultivated because we got the direct cedar with the rest of it. Um, we don't have another uh, fertilized spray up there, do we? We only have this one. Isn't it? As far as I know, no, we got a spray rig. Yeah, we do have a fertilizing rig. Um, yeah. You want to bring that down here then? Um, because yeah. uh, it will save me actually driving up there to get it when I finish the. No, no worries, no worries, no worries. I thought I, I thought I already had. Uh, that just blows my mind. For some reason, I had it in my head that I'd already cultivated. Well, that. like what we do, like we do have my other maps on the go at the moment. <laughs> it's very easy to lose our way. Oh yeah, you're right. It's all got to be cultivated. Not that I was doubting you. It's just in my mind, I thought I had done that. But I think you were doing bales and stuff, and I was doing all the harvesting. So that because I harvested the cotton, and uh, you harvested one or two fields. It, yeah, it was a pretty crazy day that day. Yeah. yeah. So we have to get all these fields turned around and then re replanted, and then we also have straw on fields seventeen and eighteen to pick up. Yeah, yeah, I remember you saying that too, because I lost track of that as well. I wonder if our. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, guys. Just in case anyone's watching them. And you're thinking, well, the, the tractor's only got one hour work, uh, one hour's working hours on it. Um, we have been on this map. Um, I think it's something like what sixty hours in total, isn't it? Something like sixty mm, hours. Yeah, before we started broadcasting, we had a lot of hours on this. Yep, sure yeah, did. So the reason why these tractors have only got an hour's working hour on it is because these are upgraded ones, where mm. we actually sold the ones we had, and we bought these ones. Well, um, and you we can tell because of the land we own too is not the same as what you get starting out so yeah. so the, so like um, the land we own then is field 46 and 47 which we're doing at the moment we also own field 18 17 um, we own field 20 field 3 field 15 and field 14 
the land that you start off with is field 17, 18, 21, 19 and 24 is the ones you start off with. So down here there are uh, vehicles up, up, up trading but the land as well. So we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. We've got a lot of time in on this. A lot better than what we were, that's for sure. Yeah, and I think and I think we have Do we have chickens on this one or no? No, we don't have any animals no, yet. No. Um I think before we left it was cows we were looking to get. Yeah, so that's right. That's I'm right. Not sure if we, I'm not sure if we bought cows. I don't think so. Yeah, because our silage is only 39% done, so we don't we don't have enough to do anything yet. Because we, I mean, we've been so busy trying to build the farm up and try to get some money put in the bank, which we have a little bit now. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Uh, let me... That is the only thing that you have to get used to in Meadow Grove, y'all. Short turns, small spaces, small spaces. Yeah, so the maps that we have gone is Meadow Grove, Peterville, um, Pacific Northwest, and do you want to pronounce the new one that we just started? <laughs> uh, Preza so we I don't know. <laughs> It was a try. Um, so there the maps we're going, and we're also then, as I said, we're going to be looking into doing it live 24 hours, which we're either looking at Starwees or Osina. We just haven't discussed which one of those. Have you been on Osina? Yeah. I jumped on it this morning when I got up. Oh my stars! That one field is ginormous. Oh no, it's a nice looking map. Um, so. It's it's an interesting map, that's for sure. But I was so, like, holy smokes. Field, field 20 is to do now, and then I think that's all the linemen we, can, we need to do, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, I think that's all the linemen we need to do. 46, 47, and 20 need linemen. I'm just about done here if I can get this header parked in here and then I've got to sell that crop real quick Glitching would stop, stop glitching. I can't get it to stop glitching. Huh? So, so, um, so that's what we're doing on this map. Uh, I think these are probably the highest tractors we're able to go, uh, go on because, as you can see, it's very tight. Uh, we could, if we wanted to go push to the likes of uh, 318 horsepower and stuff like that, but we just feel like uh, having the case or a John Deere would be too much for this map. So I don't think we will, we'd be going any bigger than these ones. Uh, but, we, but like I said, we will be trying out the likes of the, uh, the Ursus and... Um, yeah, I got lucky Top Hill is going to be the uh, place to sell. The 
very lucky, 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 lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You save a step if you pick it up loose and sell it, actually. Um, thing is, um, I think we're releasing out that bailer and stuff, so if we're not going to use it, we need to bring it back because we've we'll been charged for it. What is wrong with that? Yeah. Alright, there's a little bit more money right there. All right, seventeen six forty six, a little bit extra yep. income there. So that's not bad. Yeah, it's not, not, like uh, especially for the size of the fields that, that we're doing and stuff. Else. Oh it's, yeah, yeah. It's like it's not the very really same as they have the likes of um, Pacific or West. Oh or no 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 yeah. Well, the biggest fields we got is forty six and uh, three. So, come on. I gotta get used to these tight corners again. I'd forgotten how tight and small these this map is. Alright, so I'm fixing the. Did you still, do I need to go down there and fertilize? Does everything need to be fertilized or has it been fertilized? Uh, no, um, uh, um, field 14 and 15 are the only two that are actually fully fertilized. Um, all the other ones are half uh, fertilized. Okay. Like, they're on the first fertilized stage, so we can wait okay. till we actually uh, See cultivate them. them and then we can, yeah, before we take the next step there. Yeah, the only ones that we need to cultivate is the cotton fields or if we're planting uh corn or sunflowers because the other planter is a direct seeder yeah i think little blue goes in there i forget where we put all this stuff at yeah. little blue goes in with a uh, little gray mm -hmm. and the one with, the, with, with the doors that slide open and close mm -hmm. yeah we're gonna have to play on this more i've done forgotten where everything's at where it goes So let's put up. Uh, uh, Driving over helpers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man, look at little Yeller just sitting there all by himself. Poor fella. Fertilizer and rig. Fertilize fourteen. We only have one M, um, one weight, don't we? One from weight. Mm, you should have had one for years. We had two. Because I bought one for mine. I don't know what you did with the... Uh, well, that's probably in the... It's probably in her, um, in, in her garage. In her yep, it's there. The yep, it's right, there. Because what we'll do is we can... We can bring them like the two of us can do it. Uh, with our cultivating stuff down on fields 46, 47. And then we'll work our way up. To three. Because I think that's the only other one we had. In cotton, because we did, I think, 46, uh, we've rotated it between corn and sunflowers. Right, so what I'll do is I'm going to unload this again, and then what I can do is that I can put fertilizer in this as well, so we can... Fertilizer as well. 
Yeah, I'm fertilizing uh, 14 up here real quick. Folks, so um, anyone's joining us, um, first of all, welcome. Uh, my name is Chris Larkin, and my partner is Tough Farmer. Go and check out our channels. There's uh, Chris Larkin and Tough Farmer. Um, we're not uh, professional YouTubers by any means, so um, you, you are going to hear a lot of pauses, a lot of hems and haws and stuff, because, like I said, we're not professional YouTubers, so we're not that kind of caliber. But what we do love is the this game itself, we actually have love farm sim, um, so we do this for the love of the game rather than uh, not getting knowledge and stuff like that. But that don't um, do not tell you not to um, like and hit that like and subscribe button. So if you like what you see, um, because we actually play more realistic than we do uh, messing around like that. Um, so if you're if you like what you see, and this is the kind of way that you would like to play the game yourself, where it's more realistic, um, long drawn out broadcast rather than uh, time lapses and jump starts and jump cuts and stuff like that, uh, well that's where we play. Um, so go over and subscribe, um, Chris Larkin and also Tough Farmer, and like that button, and smash it. <laughs> because what you will see is as we're going along um, you will see what's going to happen all the drama all the tears all the crashes all the mistakes you will see them all oh none yeah especially with out. me like none of them is going to be edited out this is what you will see this is what happens Please like and subscribe. Um, we would love to um, have you on the community also, which is Superior FS Farmer. So also go and check that out. Um, we have about 19 like-minded and uh, minded um, members. Uh, we're only, uh, I think, about a month old, um, but they're very active single players. So they're always posting their uh, videos and their um, their pictures. Um, so go over and check us out. If you like what you see, join. Okay, so I guess we'll go cultivate. Is that the next plan of attack? You were cultivating, I was going to um, fertilize first all the fields and then we can... I don't think you can fertilize them until we uh, do something different because all of them are in their first fertilized state so we'll either have to cultivate what fields we're going to cultivate. Three? That's 20 because I just done 20, so if that's 20, showing up as it's a picture, no, it's first fertilized state only, light blue. Yeah, we'll have to. I thought I'd fertilized them all, so we'll have to go uh, to 46, 47, and 3 and cultivate, and then okay, so 18, 17, 20, and 14 we can direct seed and then fertilize. Okay, so. I don't know why we never actually come in this back door, well, not this back gate. I do sometimes. We always, go, we always seem to go around the long way. Yeah, <laughs> I do every once in a while. I think I don't use it because it's always closed, so I'm just like, nope, I'm not going to go there. There's space to park it over here next to this fertilizing rig if you want to. No, I was going to park it in here, but it seems you have the, the harvester in there. Yeah, okay, I scooted too. it over there so it'd be closer instead of driving around through the yard all the time. Just leave it up here, actually. Just, 
Let's go. That is so crazy. I thought that I'd already went around cultivating these things. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna head down to 46 first. Yeah, I'm going under now, so um, I pick up that weight and then I pick up the second. There it is in there. Why is it orange? Because that was the color of your tractor when we bought these. Mine's yellow. Oh, yeah, that was um, Betsy. Well, mm -hmm. um, Bertha. Mm hmm. Yeah, Bertha's gone. Mm hmm. And we kept, we kept Little Yellow to help around with the animals when we get them. Yeah. See, we hadn't been on this thing in so long. I can remember parts and pieces, but not all of it. <laughs> I know. That's just the way it is with this map, man. It's so small. You just, it's hard to tell. Uh, how are we this way again? Can, can we remember? What's that? How heavy was this weight again that we had on these tractors? Uh, Mine, I bought the heavyweight. Mine's like 2400. I don't know what the orange one was. That was the one you had bought. Because um, it just seems to be very bouncy on the front there, so. <laughs> I think that's why I bought the heavier one with the yellow oh, one. That was a 1100, that's why. Oh. Yeah, we'll have to go change that at some stage. Um, what field you, uh, you doing? 46. I just jumped on. Yeah, 46 won't take me long, and I'll jump on there and help you. And then the last one would be three, and then we should be ready to start planting again. Oh, we got to pick up that... Uh, uh, straw. Yeah. And I think we were going to keep some of that straw for the so we could get cows. I think if I remember yeah. right. For the bed. Yeah. The bar. I think we're what we're going to keep the first load or the first two loads. I think it was and then something other like, like that. Mm hmm. Fast farm this, I don't think. No, cannot. Nope. Wait, also, it's, 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 it's only the ones with a trailer hitch, isn't it? You can fast farm. I think that's what it is. Uh, I'm not really sure how that works like that. The last time I talked to Killer Weasel, he told me it was like anything that folds, but this folds. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think it's um, the, I don't think with the trailer hitches. I think it is the falls. It could be. But we will do what we do with what we have. Oh yeah, we can get it done. I've harvested sugar beets, and there ain't nothing fast about that. So. Harvest them potatoes. Yeah, <laughs> I've done that too. That's why I've done the sugar beet potato boycott. <laughs> Hasht hashtag no more sugar beets and potatoes. Yeah, guys, that's a uh, that's a kind of a long-standing joke between myself and Tall Farmer. Um, he is more into um, cotton harvesting. 
whereas I'm into just getting jobs done. But um, I don't mind getting stuck in with the potato harvesters or uh, anything like that if I need to. But, oh, I don't mind anything I, else but sugar beets and potatoes. <laughs> yeah. I tend to leave it as much as I can near the end. I would rather plow with a 1.2 meter plow than harvest potatoes and sugar beets. <laughs> I think Sigley deep down though he actually loves it, but he just doesn't have many. You know, I think I think for me it probably wouldn't be that bad. It's just all the hauling cuz you produce so much. So you're constantly hauling and hauling and hauling and hauling. That's that's what wears me out, and the the hoppers are, well, I mean that one is uh, nine thousand meters, but I mean you just harvest so much of it, it just produces yeah. high quantity. Um, I actually got an update today in the one point four update. Um, I think it is. It's the the header now is three meters instead of what. Was it two and a half on this one? Is that um, beets or potatoes? Potatoes. Potatoes, okay. So now it's a three meter? Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's good. Yeah, I think it was either two or two and a half uh, meter um, header. Now it's gone up to three. Now, see, I, I wouldn't mind doing that potatoes and. Um, sugar beets if I had one of those DJ, DJ Goham mods Lord, like it holds oh, like yeah. it holds like <laughs> 1.7 million liters and you know a hundred uh, meter header yeah I could do that yeah. I can do the field of one one, one failed swoop yep <laughs> to raise him superman <laughs> yeah I watched him the other day and he was digging out a silage pit and he had modded uh one of those uh buckets on his wheel loader and it i forgot what it held several million it's like four million or something i can't remember it's insane four or five million yeah hey guys funny i was watching um uh, like uh well we're discussing different you know, like different um youtubers and we had you know, them most of them play this game um, as you kind of know that myself and Tubbs, we play more realistic farming as much as we can because um, we do have kind of um, farming in our blood and it's in the background um, of when we were younger men and stuff like that, So, which we will tell you a little bit as we go along. Um, but So if you're wanting realistic playing, and, and the two, like, because most of our streams are about two and a half hours to three hours sometimes, and so if you're wanting realistic playing to the extent of what we can do after all like F fsm it's only a game it's not real life so you can only do what the limitations of the game will give you as in realistic playing um, but like that's that's what we uh, we play now if you're looking for um a youtuber who does kind of like crazy stuff on the far on, on his farm by all means um that would be dj goham um that's what he does. He just, as uh, Tubbs was just trying to point out there a few seconds ago, he does absolutely crazy stuff with crazy mods and stuff like that because he plays on both PC and on console. Um, and as uh, we know, kind of PC, there is no limitations. Um, mods are plenty of ridiculously crazy mods with like 100 meter headers and stuff like that. Um, if you're looking for someone who is more into um, role play and survival role play and stuff like that, um, go check out Dagrowin, but also Virtual Farmer. Um, two great mm -hmm. modders, um, two great gamers, um, and they do enjoy their you know, survival role plays and, their, and stuff like that. Man. But if you're wanting someone who's uh, informative, who plays with uh, more informative uh, information, stuff like that, go check out Mr. CDP. Yeah, Mr. CDP, he's a cool dude. Well, I like all of them, honestly. They're those are great guys, and I give them kudos. Yeah, and like, but they all play a different way as well. Like, like, so they're not mm. all the same, you know. No, they're not. Yep, you're right. Yeah, 
so go over and check out um virtual farmer he does live streams on most nights also and when you're there tell him that um chris larkin and tough farmer sent on uh, sent us um, so he will love the banter he's also <laughs> what we would call a kind of a karaoke farmer um he kind of gives himself um himself a a number to hit of uh, likes and stuff like that so um if he hits it then he'll actually say he starts singing the combine song um but before then he'll give himself uh, a small number of, of likes to get where he'll do the um, your awesome dance and so he's a pretty funny guy when he gets going you know his happy dance he calls it his, his happy dance yep mm -hmm. But like he, but like he likes um his subscribers and his followers like that. You know, kind of interact with him. So that he does. Go and check him out. Go check him out, uh, virtual farmer. Because not all YouTubers, you know, respond or react to the subscribers, but he definitely is one that makes sure. Yeah. Um, you know, some of the bigger ones they kind of stick to only answering the ones that you know. Which I get it. They hang around more, and they see their names more, and so they they give them you know shouts out, and shout outs, and talk to them a little bit yeah. more as opposed to somebody that just comes in and says hello, you know, type deal. Yeah, so go and check him out. Um, virtual farmer. He's um, mostly um, he's mostly. <laughs> So he's doing a survival let's play at the moment on Peterville. Um, another great map by MJ Modern. Um, so also go check out um, these modders guys. Um, so if you have a favorite modder or something like that, go, go check him out. Um, MJ Modern, he's he's actually given us a few good mods on this farm already on um, FS19. Um, he's actually given us Peterville, um, a few other little uh, one or two um, maps as well I think he is. Um, Go and check him out. He's always on Virtual Farmers at uh, uh, group chat. And he's he also interacts with uh, his fans and stuff like that. So go over and say no, no like well, show him your appreciation. No, tell him that you love the farm or the map that he's or whatever mod you're using. By so he he would love to hear from you as well. But before you do that, go check out mine, Chris Larkin. Go check out Tough Farmers. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and as we always say, it only takes a second to hit the button, and it takes a lifetime of regret if you don't. Yep. And we would love to have you. Um, so um, we kind of do play realistic, and but if we can give information and stuff that we will, if we don't know the answer to it, we will find out, and we will always let people know on the next broadcast uh, of what we found out for them. So. Um, plus, if you want to join us, I mean, like if you, you know, if you want to actually visit and take part in the game, send us um, a comment in the comment box, and we will uh, give you all the information that you need to join in. All right, field three. Field three. Uh, okay, I was going to get this game, but I'm, I locked up. I can reopen it. I think this is the first time since we actually start um, playing this game, but we're actually in the same fields. Yeah, I kind of like it, because being by yourself and doing all that stuff <laughs> gets boring. <laughs> it's it's kind of nice every like, once in a while to do that. Long way about us, so we probably be hitting fields 18 and 9, 17 first, but it's grand. We don't have to, we don't have to cultivate those. No, we, we also have to pick up the um, yeah. Straw, so we can't go near them, so. The only one we need to cultivate is three. Oh, come on. You, yeah. You can feel the weight. I'm <laughs> lugging here. Yeah, we should have went around the other way in front of the yeah. other good. south point. Uh, get, to there get to smell um, the smell the roses um, and check out the scenery. Yeah, do we not need to cultivate field twenty also? 
Uh uh. No. Soybeans. It's field 20. And then we put barley and uh, oats and wheat in 1718. Yeah, the the only one, the only one that's not direct drill is the cedar. The planter is direct drill. So like cotton, corn, uh, and uh, sh uh, sugar beets and uh, sunflowers have to be uh, cultivated. What you going on about? Hey guys, so go and check out our, um, our channel there and also our um, community, which is um, Superior FS Pharma. You know, um, go and check it out. Um, join it, interact with the guys over there. You know, like they're all very, very friendly. They all you know, get in on multiplayer as well. Some of them do. Some are more single players, but they're more than happy to you know, have a chat on the community with you. Yeah, cotton. I'm thinking we should have potatoes on Potatoes? Yeah, or, or, or even sugar beets. Ooh, ooh. Nice big field of it. Maybe we ought to pick a tiny field to do that in. <laughs> this is a tiny field. <laughs> it's one of our bigger fields. You'll you you end up in that, in one of those messes like you got over there on field whatever it was because of the hill. Yeah. Well, apart from the hill, but also um, the equipment that we were given by the um, the farmer mm -hmm. himself, like uh, the tractor grossly underpowered. Yep. Yeah, yeah that took you forever. Matter of fact, I think that's what I was doing, was doing all this harvesting while you were doing that contract. Yeah. And it was like forever. I think about one, two, three different kind of tractors. And in the end, I had to at least mm -hmm. a high-powered one just to finish it. Yep. I don't think I don't think we made anything off it because I think I, I used it all on the... Mm, on I the, think, I think we made $3,000 or something, but it wasn't very much, yeah. Because we're both stubborn, uh, we won't get rid of the contract once we take it. We just finish it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, guys. So, um, so going back on um, what we were discussing about our uh, 24-hour uh, broadcast. This is something that myself and Toes have been talking about for the last week and a half, two weeks, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, at first, it was just one of those. Uh, actually, I thought it was less. It was only a couple of days because I think you were still on vacation when when I said it to you. No, we talked about it uh, before I went on vacation. Did we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and I, uh, I think I actually kind of said to you on your vacation, look, I think this we go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. um, so we have been discussing this for a while. Um, it was only at, like at. At first, it was just one of those passing moment, uh, passing comments, just to see, you know, like what, like what we could do. The, so we both kind of agreed a 24-hour would be an interesting concept to do. Um, then we kind of laughed it off. But then the more we were talking about it, and the more we discussed it, we we're like, yeah, let's go do it. Let's just have a bit of fun with it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so it probably it won't be this week. Um, it probably will be at the end of next weekend, probably. So maybe Saturday. Saturday. Uh, we haven't discussed what um, 
times yet. Um, that's something that myself and Tobes will have to discuss ourselves. Because we're in different time zones where I'm six hours ahead of Tubbs, that I'm uh, GMT, which is Ireland and England, and Tubbs is in Central States, is it? Central East Standard. Eastern. Central Standard. So um, we have to discuss the, like, our time zones and stuff like that. But mainly what's going to happen is this. We're going to do it as a survival kind of um, role play kind of thing. But it's not where we're going to say, well, we can't have this, we can't have that. The survival part that comes into it is... Turn on my lights. Is that we're going to start off with no money whatsoever. We're going to start off on either... Um, farm manager or start from scratch but I think we're probably going to go with start from scratch so we're going to have no money, no land no farm uh, the economy is going to be fairly rough uh, we're going to act as if we just moved into that area so we're not really sure if it's going to be Obscena yet or if it's going to be Starways but it's going to be one of those two maps uh, so we're going to go uh, into it as if we just moved into the area and uh, two drifters looking for work um, so we're going to build it up where we're going to um, start off in nothing we're going to build up see can we get a small bit of land where we can either have it as our own home base or where we can um, use it as land where we can sow stuff and whatever um, the only equipment that we're going to buy for ourselves is old fashioned classics. So no big equipment, no big tractors, no big implements, nothing like that. It's all this old stuff, all the small stuff. The only big tractors that we probably will be using is when we take out contracts, we will use the equipment that's given to us. Other than that, it's um, all the old stuff we're going to go with. Now, we also have discussing is we can kind of turn it into a Q&A. So, if you're, um, so if you're going to be watching us that day, pop in a question on the comment and we will answer it. Or if you want to join in, same again, leave it in the comment box that you want to join in on the 24 hour. We will give you all the information of when it's going to start, and what map we're going to be on, and vice versa and stuff like that. Do you want to add anything to that, um, Tubbs? No, I think I think you got everything covered there. <clears throat> I think we just if, if they do join in, we'll have to cover some settings uh in order for them to be a part of the broadcast, but other than that, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Plus, uh, if you don't want to take part, but you just want to watch us, that's all by all means, that's okay as well. Why don't you drop in the comment box and maybe a, you know, one or two rules that we have to follow also, you know? Um, so I, I'm thinking one of the main rules that we're going to be having is the money-wise, is that we can't take out no loans until we uh, earn from the first contract that we do, and then we can only take out either two or three times that contract price, and then we can't take out anything else until that contract is actually paid, and um, that loan is paid back. And there he goes, coming through trees again. Sure. Yep. We might as well see that yeah. you're doing it. Yeah, we got, we got places to be. Um, are we going back with these, or are you going into field 14, or what's the story? 14 d doesn't need to be cultivated. Okay. Oh, yeah, I need to change the way on this. This is popping the wheelies. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> I just popped one while ago. Got a good one, actually. Yeah, I got a pretty good little lick off of mine. Man, I tell you what, it's insane. stuff for it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is um, our, so this is the smallest map that we uh, that we play on, guys. So um, don't be expecting us to not get big equipment. Um, it's not going to happen. Um, so if you're expecting us to get big John Deere's and big Case Internationals and stuff like that, this unfortunately it won't happen first. But um, other than that, we hope you stick around, you know, get involved, and throw in a few comments that you like. Um, or even if you want to throw in one or two rules for this um, Let's Play, by all means, throw them in there. We, uh, we, uh, we will seriously look at them and see if we can integrate them into the game. Come on now. Um, Here we go. What are we going to do next? Are we going to start zone or are we going to yeah. take in the straw? What we want to do. I, oh I we yeah, yeah, we little. gotta take in a stro- Well, I can go start planting the cotton and stuff because that takes a little longer because that's a small deal. If you want to grab the, uh, or I can do yeah. the pick up the straw and vice versa or whatever. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm okay with that. Yeah, because this planter over here's got that real small l- leaders on it. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send those um, bailers and all back. We don't need them. Okay. It just costs us money at the end. Oh, I got to so pick up like, the hub. Wait before we be using them again, so. Mm-hmm. No worries. That'll work. Because I don't think we have any grass fields that are actually grown, so. Uh, 15. Yeah, but like, is it actually grown? Is it ready for cotton again? Cotton? No, it's grass. No, oh, I said, is it, is it ready for cotton? Oh, cutting. <laughs> that Irish accent gets me. Uh, it yeah. says it's still growing. So, because ju- you, you just harvested it, and I just now uh, fertilized it the last time we were on it. So, it'll be, a l- it'll be another day before we need them. I will see. We're okay then. Yep, yeah, we're good. All right. Since I'm up here, I'm gonna go the ahead last and. Last time we done this field, we we got hung up on the ditch. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna get field three while I'm up here, since I'm up close. And then I'll run down there and get forty six. And do we do we want? Um, we went with uh, corn last time. Do you want to do sunflowers in field forty six this time? Yeah, sunflowers are. Um soybeans no like some that has big money spender so we can actually start getting extra stuff you know oh okay um, can, well we didn't like, need that like i know we have like i know we have 247 type, which you no know, like you know, for 247 i think we probably could look into getting another field actually if you want to okay. have a look around and see all right. what's there first all right i'll do that i'm gonna get see all this stuff planted first Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, if anyone was watching, guys, our name of the uh, name of this map was to owned. Um, I think eighty percent of all the fields that are on the map. Um, to um, buy all the pens um, and max them out with animals. Now, when I say max them out, I don't mean buy the animals in we're going to buy a certain percentage of the animals and then we're going to wait them till they actually breed themselves into full max and I think that's what we were, go- we were looking at one we were going to buy either the chicken pen or the sheep or something like that uh, yeah it's been so long since we've been on here fats I've done forgotten to be honest with you but I know I, I, I know that we were talking about buying animals, yes. Um, so for anyone who wants to know, whenever Tub calls me Fats, um, that's my running nickname at the moment. So um, don't be thinking there's three guys on this <laughs> game. There's only well, <laughs> because, because you're Irish, you actually count as two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't count the leprechauns. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Leave, leave them guys alone. <laughs> he, 
He doesn't like the rapper cans. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I do some foolish guys on this map, it's the leprechauns made me do it. All right, so. <laughs> All right, give me just a second. I'll be right back. I gotta get something to drink. Uh, already, uh, he's going to the alcohol. Can't be that bad. Hey, it's five o'clock. So it is five o'clock here. So yes. <laughs> Margarita, about five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> the great Jimmy Buffett. Hey guys, so go and check us out and uh, check out our um, community, um, Superior FS Farming. You know, that's a bit of a laugh. Uh, all friendly guys over there. Uh, myself and Tubbs are always on it. I am the owner. Uh, Tubbs is uh, my moderator. Um, we actually became friends um, doing a multiplayer. So by all means, so if you want to join in, send us a message and we were more than happy to let you join in with us. Uh, we're always looking and we're always happy with other guys who join in and play the game. All females, it makes a difference to that all guys. Um, and even if you know nothing about this game and you just want to start out playing it, by all means, don't be daunted. Join in as well. We're more than happy to share any information that we have and all the helpful tips that we have. We will also help you know to play it. I mean, like we will show what you can't do, what's the best way to do stuff, and stuff like that. And then again, at the same time, we're also learning ourselves. So even if you do know what you're doing and you join, you know, like you might surprise us with one or two tips that we didn't know about. So by all means, please join in. Yeah, I mean, like by all means, please join in. We're always looking for new members. We're always looking for active members, and we're also looking for uh, new people that should play the game. Like we're not these uh, YouTubers or anything like that who actually um, kind of like has first come first serve kind of thing and then we you know Patreon and stuff like that. We don't have none of that stuff. Uh, we are on console, so just also uh, be mindful of that. We can only have um, six people playing at once. Um, it's not because we don't want any more. That's just the limitations of the console. Um, we can only have 16. We're on PC. I think it's up to something like 16. So there's a dedicated server. We don't have that. Also, be mindful if you do want to join us. Be mindful that we do broadcast. Okay, so you have to know. So be careful of music in the background. Um, we have to keep our cursor to a minimum. Now, in saying that, I do curse sometimes when I make a mistake or whatever. What? It just comes out. Yeah, and including oh and tubs and tubs who thinks he's a saint. He also lets one or two <laughs> step out, right? So we're not like what we're no I saints. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> so we're no saints, right? So, um, but we do have to keep it to a minimum. And also, um, it's the music, guys, uh, because of the YouTube strikes and stuff like that, we have to be careful of as well. Mm -hmm. And we're not adding anything there, Tubbs. No, I think you covered it all. I mean, that's kind of the main thing. We want people to come on and have fun, but we also got rules to obey, and we got to stick by them. So they're not really flexible or able to bend any of those. And we're pretty serious about that. Any nonsense, uh, it'll be you'll get the boot pretty quick. So what is, uh, I hear that all the time, and I, I just guess I'm just not around it or don't know enough about it. What is this Patreon stuff? I don't understand that. Um, from what I can gather with it, isn't that something like um, paying subscribers where you... I, I don't know. I, I, I see it on a couple of some of the YouTubers. Then, I just didn't know what it was. And then they, and then, they, and then the Patreons get... Uh, first look at videos that are brought up and put up and stuff like that as far as I know like I, I don't know a whole lot about it so like hmm. like we said guys we're not professional YouTubers we don't know the larg the, the jargon or the link or anything like that so I mean if we're completely wrong about what this Patreon is please put in the um, comment box and let us know set us right yeah cause I don't I've heard it I didn't know what it was so I 
it's, it's like subscribers, but they kind of pay. I think it is, isn't it? Where well, like, okay, they don't pay to kind of not give donations and stuff like that. I think it is. Like, I know, um, like, well, you can get that on the standard, you know, like, like, even normal subscribers can do it, but I think Patreon kind of has a little more advanced to it, I think it is. Yeah, I, do you, don't start me. I have no idea. serious farmers we do take the banter and everything else I mean, like we do take the piss out of each other and the make out of each other and everything else but we do with utmost respect and friendliness in mind guys okay so um, if you do come on and we are kind of making jokes about you by all means you can throw them back at us um, but we don't do it to offend anyone okay so it's just like well myself and Tubbs we're like we said, we became friends on multiplayer, and I think we hit it off because we both got this kind of dry sense of humor to a certain extent. Would you agree with that? Tubbs? No, he's left. Yeah, no, I'm here. <laughs> As Jennifer was telling me some stuff. Yeah, so um, I think we both got it kind of got a dry sense of humor, but I think that's what made us. Who does? Myself and you. Oh. No. Yeah. I think I think I think we got a perfect sense of humor. You look for brownie points. You're okay. Yes, you are a good <laughs> farmer. <for that>. okay. <laughs> it's just that my jokes are, are lacking. Both farmers' jokes are lacking, and I am the joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funny. Um, I was just um, I, I don't know if you saw our um, the community post I put up there today about that we're eight months into the farm uh, the farm sim nineteen. Uh, I didn't see today's no. No, right. Um, so yeah, we're we're eight months about eight months into farm nineteen in farm sim FS nineteen, which is a great thing. But we've already got some like twenty seven maps so far out. It's a lot. I know we've got maps galore. Yeah. 27 so far, 8 months in. Um, this time in 17, we didn't have this many. Didn't surprise me. I like there's more on the way. You know, we have Welker Farms, RDC's coming back. Um, there is a few is, is RDC going to come back? Yeah. Will it have the multi fruit in it? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder why they can't do yeah. it for all. Um, because, no. um, like, well, first it was that Giants' idea was it couldn't be done. I think it's because there were just too many scripts or something that I just don't think they wanted to do it that way. Um, but um, because of um, Alberto, the maker of RDC, um, he's after coming out with multi fruit now for console, and it's in. So, I mean, like, they can't really take the, like, the cats out of the box now, as I say. So, since he has created a script for it, surely other modders would probably follow his suit, right? You would think. Yeah, I, 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 I say so. I say, uh, right, most modders now would probably wait till um, RDC, or like RDC come back out again. Right? Mm -hmm. They will wait to see what, what happens after it comes back out. Because the reason why got, uh, anyone's watching, the reason why it was dropped the first time was it was only made for PC only. Um, but it, it slipped through the net, 
so unfortunately it was also put through for console um, and there was issues with it but the strips were there um, like the multi fruits were still there you could still use the new fruit that were, that were given but there were some like there was a few things missing with it so the strips wasn't exactly 100% core because of the console but the 1.4 update was supposed to rectify that so when it comes back out again um, I say a lot of models are going to wait till they will see if all that's been rectified and if the, if it's rectified without any no problems, no mistakes or no hassles or issues you can bet your bottom, bottom dollar they're going to be throwing multi fruit hmm. yeah I didn't have no issues I don't I think maybe you did. Um, it was like what I think the biggest issue <laughs> everybody had, right? The biggest issue that everybody had in that game was the fact that um, there were um, the growth. The growth node wasn't coming on. Yeah. It was, it, and it no, like it that, messed up your Pacific issue. Northwest map. Yeah. That's why I was being facetious a little. I know, I know. I just didn't want to acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> it brings back old memories. <laughs> a haunting nightmare. <laughs> yes, guys, uh, we don't... Um, now, that, that night you Pacific cussed a Northwest. lot. <laughs> like, um, like what we don't Pacific Northwest, and we had moved our, I had moved my farm on the single-player mode that I was doing down to fields. 33 it took me something like four hours just to cut down all those trees that were there um main nice little map uh, and farm then we played rdc the issue started and it had saved the issue onto my single player on pacific northwest and ruined it i had to delete it mm -hmm. and yes as toby really put it out that was not a a happy broadcast if we were broadcast <laughs> he let's just put it this way he was irish mad yes i i was an irish sailor right <laughs> that's all i can say it is. <laughs> mm. if we were if we were broadcast that night i would have been banned from youtube for life <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're pretty hot I would have been too, though, all that work that was put into that, though, because you cut down all of those trees. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it was like, what were we on, four or five hours that morning? Yeah. It was insane. Four hours just to cut down trees. And it was mental. And I wouldn't mind, but there's only something like, what, there was 30 trees or something in total? Or something like that? Like, yeah, there but you you were that, you were also was, writing everything down and keeping up with everything, so you were kind of like trying to really have some uh, uh, yeah. ev evidence behind the, what you were trying to do, and then it was just yeah. like it was all lost. <laughs> it, was, yes. it, was, it was gone <laughs> to never return. Uh, 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 it was all because of a map that I was raving about at the stack on like oh yeah it's a brilliant map it's going to give people room for the money and best map in the game to one of the worst maps ever invented <laughs> yeah because you even deleted your personal metagrove too yeah yes um, because I, I was having too many games I was trying to keep up with I, I didn't know if I was coming or going I decided to delete metagrove my personal my single player game I deleted that just so I could play um, RDC and so I had to delete my Pacific Northwest because of it but I had also got rid of my Middle Grove <laughs> which means I was two games down because of that map mm -hmm. <laughs> and yet I still can't wait for it to come back with, with, hopefully with the issue sorted because it was a beautiful map yeah, I was really interested in seeing how those lagoons, lagoons, whatever they're called, yes, yeah. yeah, that were gonna come out, because it had and that in the, the rye, yeah, um, and it had it had, had real, 
you could bell it so it's just like grass then or hay so no uh, uh, we raise him as uh, oats so oats. you would have two crops so you would have the crop part of it and then you also had the byproduct which you could actually make into bales okay so it was uh, a bean crop then yeah interesting fair enough Hmm. yeah going up this hill on three I'd forgotten about this but three is a booger to plant because going up the hill it's only like three or four miles an hour kind of the same thing you run into with that uh, sugar beet harvester for the tractor uh, yeah our, uh, but it's not it's not the, as bad as what you had though not one mile an hour we also on field A we also have a bale we have to pick up oh is it still down there That's my hat bell. That's it. That's the bell that kind of made my tractor disappear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Isn't it still under the map? No, I don't think so. Got rid of it. <laughs> but um, apparently all those issues now have been sorted. So I don't think we should have any more of those issues. Uh, what about the floating cotton bales? Did they they address those yeah. issues in multiplayer? Yeah. As far as yeah, all the, um, as far as I know, all the bale collisions and all the bale stuff that was actually sorted. Like, there is a, f like, there's a whole page and a half, a four page and a half of stuff that was sorted, so. It'll be interesting now over the next couple of days trying to go through them all to see. Are you going to try to condense some of it for console to kind of put out on the community? That'll be interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to while I'm gone. Now, don't forget I leave out tomorrow. Yeah. And be back. I'll be back Saturday night. Hey, yeah, guys. So, um, it probably will be Saturday week is when we're going to go with 24 hours. Is that it? Mm-hmm. It's looking like it, yep. So far, yeah. But like, like I said, we discussed it knowledge during the week and everything, just to finalise everything. And we will actually brought out a a broadcast because what we're going to do is the map that we're going to use for 24 hours will be the map we use for 24 hours, and then the one that we don't use is the one where we're going to do a map tour of. Um, and the one that we do the map tour of, we will actually announce then all the details of the. Like 24 hours. Got it? Mm hmm. Sounds good to me. Alright. Um, oh, yeah, I, I forgot we had silage bills there. I was going to say, where did the silage bills come out of? Oh, did you? Oh, that's right. You hung on to them. Yeah, I sold half. I remember I, um, I kept half. Yeah, cause, and then I told you we had all that silage in the silage pit cooking. Yeah. But I think you wanted to hang on to them in case we started animals early. So, because it, it's still, I think it's only like 39 or 40% on the silage while it's still brewing. I don't think we're, don't think we're going to be starting um, the cows just yet because no, we don't, don't have, really have anything else. Well, we need uh, hay. Well, the thing is, like, what's well, we could buy four hay bales or whatever if we if we need to, but mm -hmm. so like there is like the are ways out around stuff that we need to do, but if we need to, but I don't think we want to do it that way. No, I think we want to be self-sufficient. Yeah. Right. So, um, that's that. Um, what else has been done? Uh, just the. Grab the planter and start planting. 
Right, so you got cedar? I have the cedar. I'm fixing to finish up with uh, three, and then I gotta go to 46, 47, and plant oh, cotton. You have to plant dry. You have to plant dry and get the cedar. Yeah, whichever one it is. I have the one that plants cotton and soy. Yeah, or, uh, so you, you get the planter. Yeah, right, I, so, I, I don't, I don't um, understand that terminology because everything is a planter in a, in a, in our where I was raised in Texas. Right. So you're on field three. Uh, three, yep. Yeah. Um, and what are you going to plant in field 46? Oh, no, 47. You're doing cotton in 47. Yeah, 47 is cotton. 46, we've been rotating corn and, uh, uh, sunflowers. So, oh. Um, oh. What do you want me to put into it then? Uh, well, we need to plant 20. 17, what is it, 17, 18, and 14. Right, Cause so what are you going to plant in 46? Sunflowers. Right, you're going to do sunflowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 17, 18, 20, and 14 with the planter that you have. And what we planted in 20 before was soybeans. 17 and 18, I think we did interchangeably between oats. No, we did barley and wheat. And then 14 yeah, was canola. 14 was canola. And then we're going to buy another field, and I think you were saying maybe put some more soybeans in them. No, we were selling it as we went along. Right, so what we'll do is I will do barley and oats in these two fields, I suppose. And then we can keep one trailer load if we ever do get horses or whatever, and then horses? do the rest. Horses for oats. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought horses one time, and then I figured out how much work they are, and I never bought them again. You have to ride them every day. Five minutes. That's five minutes of farming. Yeah, but like when you're doing one burning, it's burning, it's really isn't a whole lot. Burning daylight. Oh, I'm f I am fast farming. Yeah, you can fast farm with that one. Oh yeah, slow down, 21 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From 21 mile an hour downhill to yeah, 9 mile an hour uphill. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll go downhill from that one. It's faster. Alright, I just finished up three, so it should be all planted. Make sure I didn't miss any areas. Nope, looks good. Alright, we're heading back up to 46, or I'm going to do 47 first since I already got cotton ready. There we go. So we're going to have cotton back in 47 again, and in 3, is that it? Yep, 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 and hopefully we'll have a better process the next go around. We went ahead and sold them so we could have the extra money because we were updating to the case tractors. Yeah. So we took a little bit less on them.
it seems like I made two complete bells and another ten thousand dollar bell so it's like two and a half bells if I remember right Somebody's here. Someone's in trouble. Hang on just a sec. Is that what they make it out of, barley? No. I thought it was made out of wheat. Wheat? Let's look at that one. They can make it with barley. And oats. And oats. <laughs> but it's okay. We can make pudgeen or something. <laughs> what is it? Pudgeen. I don't even know what that is. Oh, okay. Pachin. Okay. Oh my god, I've just crashed. Into hey! That's good. At least I didn't. Or at least I hadn't yet. I should say that. I don't know why to have a wonder. That's, that's ridiculous. Maybe they're thinking that you needed to hit it. Maybe. Or maybe the wall thought I ain't going to jump out in front of it. <laughs> Probably. He's talking about Pudgy. Let's put him to the test. Mm -hmm. 
we're gonna let his light shine. I think my favorite word is that's insane. This is insane. You're the very same as um, Virtual Farmer would is fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> that and I always say uh, that's a good deal. Yep, that's a good deal. Sounds good. Good no, job. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Uh, uh, what else is it that is? Uh, there's one other thing. It's all good. Yeah, I just have the basics. The leprechauns made me do it. That covers absolutely <laughs> everything. It covers when you get praise. Leprechauns made me do it. It covers when you're in trouble. Leprechauns made me do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It covers everything. It's a one stop shop for getting out of trouble. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about really all I say. Phrases. And what the hell. What the hell? Mm-hmm. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Have you lost your ever-loved mind? That's another one. Yeah. <laughs> that and... Uh, I've already, you've already heard me say motherless goat, so... I had to laugh there today because uh, before you said that you were jumping on, I was like, um, every time you're announcing, you know, like the channels and stuff like that, and you always say Chris Larkin, right? I'm like, what that sounds to me is the way you actually speak to your employees, like your your officers, when you're uh, doing your you know your your morning roll call and stuff like that. Right, and you're like, um, yeah, and now we have to watch out for the suspect. His name is Chris Larkin. <laughs> like, uh, he'd make me sound like a criminal. <laughs> America's most wanted, <laughs> living in Ireland. <laughs> and, and here's what he looks like. <laughs> and he runs you know, around uh, drinking shit coffee. <laughs> every time you say it, it's like, oh my god, I sound, I'm, I'm half expecting the cops to burst in my door one. Please, you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> <In the deck. laughs> we have a boss. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Shoot it's funny. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So yeah, the good every time. The good news about this is, is we only have to fertilize the ones that you're planting. Because I've got fertilizer on this. Is this a seed or a planter? I always, for, I always uh, get them backwards. That's, that's the planter. This is the seeder. Okay. Which to me they're all... There's no fertilizer on this. There's no fertilizer on this one. So. Right. So the only ones we have to go back and fertilize is the fields like 20, 17, 18, and 14. So that's not too bad. And with two fertilizing rigs it won't take long. Why am I going back into the yard when I need to go down to field 20? Hmm. Okay, that's that's all right. No one saw me doing that. There's no evidence. What? <laughs> it was the leprechauns made me do it, okay? How did you break <laughs> it? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, no this what are we planning in field 20? 20 is uh, soybean. Soya. We're going to go soybeans. 
and then after we get everything planted and fertilized we need to look for our new field Versus P. Oh, we're gonna buy that. <laughs> and we're gonna call it, and we're gonna turn it into one big cotton field. Well, Followed I, by a big harvester. I feel like there's some nonsense going on here. Where's the P? No, hell no. Now I would turn that into a cotton field. You could talk me into that. Honestly, oh no, 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 I did the uh, I did um uh, Chris Larkin on it. We could buy the seventy two chicken and cows for seventy five thousand and then one five and six come in a pack for sixty two thousand so we would own seventy two, one five and sixty six. Yeah. We have enough money for that and then that way we can start working on cows and then five and six are grass fields that we could leave for now and then just plant one well 72 is a grass field so one would be the only one uh, what's going on here yeah one Riley Riley Riley's after <laughs> Leprechauns made me do it. Yep, leprechauns made me do it. Squirrely little fellers. They made me do a lot of things. Mm. I, sh I wish I would have known that long time ago. That would have helped me out in a couple of situations. Well, see, in your case, it would have to be half leprechauns, which can't really get away with it unless they're full blown out leprechauns, you know what I mean? Nah, they're saying around here is the devil made me do it. <laughs> yeah, and who do you think is uh, telling the devil what to do? The leprechauns. The leprechauns. <laughs> <laughs> Them leprechauns are I thought they I thought they were supposed to be lucky, but apparently after meeting you they're very pesky. Oh yeah. The worst than gremlins. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> I would never put a leprechaun to a gremlin, but okay. That's like that's like Godzilla f versus uh, King Kong. <laughs> I do know one thing we need to do though is I've got a we've got a cedar a seed hut down here and we need to buy a fertilizer hut down here. I just I now I, I just now yeah. realize that cuz these fields I are so agree. big I just eat up too much land space having to drive back up here to get fertilizer and stuff. I was looking at it there when we started this map first when we put that down there and the only place you can actually it in the same field is right in the corner where the gate is going into field 40 right in that corner right there field 40 
We don't oh, own. sorry, into field 47. Into field I was going to say, we don't own 40. No, into field 47. That, um, the, the first gate be between field 46 and 47. Oh, right okay. in that corner there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. I just, I was just sitting here looking at it, thinking about it, because that's always a pain to run back up to the top of the farmhouse and because I remember why we stuck the cedar here because this little cedar which I think we need to upgrade to the 9 millimeter or 9 millimeter now I'm thinking pistols 9 meter <laughs> instead of the I 6 meter <laughs> something yeah no joke <laughs> No joke. They're very real. Uh -huh. well, they are. Yeah. I've heard they were. Tell, it's what you tell the, your kids when they're small um, that live on the bed. Oh, is that right? Take your shoes. <laughs> Must be a big deal in Ireland to lose your shoes. <laughs> the heck with that. I don't want to lose my shoes. <laughs> Man, we started off on farm and now we're talking about shoe stealing leprechauns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, when I come to Ireland to visit people that are walking barefoot, I know the I know the leprechauns got their shoes. Oh, you know why? Uh huh. It's, it, it's why like people in the old days used to tie their shoelaces together. I tell them. Uh, so I see the leprechaun got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're missing your shoes, huh? Man, that's crazy, insane. Uh, and if the work in pairs, you can guarantee you're going to lose your socks as well. So. What? A pair of leprechauns? There you go. Yeah, you can't just, you can't just have one. Oh. Jeez Louise. So, do you eat Lucky Charms? <laughs> the cereal? Wasn't it? Wasn't yeah, that? Isn't that from Ireland? <laughs> I don't know. Is it? I, I don't know. A, I think that's a state cereal. It, it's a, Americanized. Because it has a. That's that's it. It's got like a little pot of gold in the Lucky Charm on there. That leprechaun. I mean. Oh no, we have it over here, but I think it's more. It's 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 more known with the states than it is in Ireland. I have to look on the box. Watch it be produced in Ireland. No, that's the leprechaun. Power. It's it's probably you never know. Guinness probably owns them. That's just another way for them to make money, <laughs> selling cereal. So you drink a lot of Guinness and you go home and get your Lucky Charms. <laughs> Guinness, Guinness flavor the cereal now actually sounds good now. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so field 14, right. What does everyone put in field 14? Canola. Lucky, yeah, lucky charms. Lucky charms. And we kind of got off topic today, man. We're like lucky charms, leprechaun stealing your damn shoes and your socks and yeah. crap if they work in cahoots. <laughs> this is getting oh, out of yeah. hand. <laughs> if the tag team, you're in trouble. There's no hope. <laughs> Oh my god. So, uh, how do you say it? Osina? The new map? Osina? Osina, yeah. Osina? Osina. So, so, honestly, when you jumped on there and you saw that field 47 or whatever, what did you think when, when you looked at it? Um, truth? Yeah. 
I was looking at fields. 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, I think, we owned. They're all the ones in a straight line. Yeah, the I little bitty thinking, ones, yeah. I was thinking this would be a lovely big field. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> so I jumped on there, and and that's something we ought to do when we get done with uh, streaming tonight. We ought to jump on there and just do a, a map review of it real quick. But yeah. that that f field, I was driving in, and and I'm going to tell you the first thing I said: "Holy motherless goat!" It would take two days to get through that field. It is humongous. Humongous. It's probably yes, it, it it's 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 probably the largest field I've seen yet on any map. I may be wrong, but it it, sh it sure looks it to me. Were you driving one night closed? No, I had them both open, wide because open. Because Matter of fact, they were so big, wide open, I was teary eyed. Because all maps look big with one night closed, I should know. <laughs> so. That's how I do most of my work. <laughs> but what I find intriguing about it, and you see that, like here in Texas, we matter of fact, some of our family land is like this. So you have this li large parcel of land that you're going around, and then all of a sudden you got a, a like a kind of peninsula or island type looking thing in it, and there's this little tiny small gap that connects the second parcel of land but it's all one parcel of land and so you go in between that gap and then you just keep farming and this place rem the, on on that map reminded me of that and I'm like oh my gosh it's a big yeah. old sucker I mean even even that's the what, even that's the, what I would like to see actually go into consoles a nice big Texan map I would love it if they did that now, it depends on which part of Texas, because I'm going to tell you where I'm from, up in the Panhandle, everything is almost like a square parcel of land. And so, here in the United States, we go by acreage. So, uh, they also call land here in Texas into labors and sections of land. And it takes four labors to equal one section. And a labor is 177.6 acres. So, you know, if you farm, if you farm a half section, that's over 354 acres or whatever. So, uh, that's kind of how it is here. But some, like my cousin, has got some that are really huge uh, sections of land that's broke out and of course it's just one you know large I think it's like two sections of land together and it's just huge so but I, w I would love to see a Texas map come 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 out on console that would be great so what you call one one field order we call Ireland over here we call home you call what uh, Ireland <laughs> oh <laughs> so the the parcels of the land are, pr are pretty small in Ireland then I'm assuming um, they are and they aren't I mean like well we don't have big massive um, acres of land you know like um, Texas and places like that but we do have big enough fields you know, not, not like we Welker, Welker farm no, type stuff much, no 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 Are most of them family owned and operated? The, um, the land, or, yeah. is, is, or is it some of it gone commercial? No, no, um, most of them, most of them still farm now. Um, most of them still um, family um, owned farms, but we do do commercial farming and stuff like that as well. Like, but mm -hmm. it's still family owned. You know, it's the farmers themselves doing it. Um, we also have what we call common land. Over mm -hmm. here, uh, where is uh, farmers? What they're doing is to set it aside, uh, and they don't touch it for five years, and then they'll start putting in cattle or crops again. So that's that's what they do. So it's a five-year cycle. Mm. Yeah, and see here we call it rotating. 
So like they'll either rotate crops out or they'll rotate the land around and put wheat and then run cattle on it for a little well, no, bit. Like, like over here, farmers do that over here, right? Mm -hmm. like, like, but they rotate crops every year, but mm -hmm. they also um, put land aside, right? It's called common land, right? Hmm. And what happens is the government actually pays them not to use that land for five yeah. years. Yeah, and they call that lay by land over here. So the government will pay them to lay, to lay their land out. Yeah, they have something yeah. similar to to that here in the states. So. Or in Texas, I can't speak for all the states. So is that all that's all the things we have. Okay. You already finished. See oh, that good. that fast farming goes so much faster. I still got forty six to plant. But in the meantime, we can uh, look at the next field to buy I mean the, I, I thought about the one with all the chickens and cows and then what I was looking at you can have a look at it and see what you think I was thinking we could buy where the chickens and cows are which would include 72 and then one five and six come as a pack since it's all together and then we could buy that yep I so. I think I'm on the same wavelength as you, so I will look and then when we get there and then we will discuss it again. Right, so, time to reverse up here. I was just thinking, since we're kind of wanting to push towards the animals, it might be a good move right now while we got the money and yeah. we can afford it. And then we, well, we, it's like this, like, we we're actually going to be upgrading the tractors. So no, I think I think our tractors are good. Yep, I agree. Uh, what we will, uh, so what we'll do on the Ocena map when we're doing our little quick run around, we will lease out um, the uh, the Sulers tractors or whatever. We'll have a look at that. How they're doing that way. So, the or which we'll lease it out on this the, the German tractor that came out. Oh we yeah, yeah. Yeah, we need to give it a try. Mm -hmm. or, or we can do it on this map either way. We'll just run around them just have we a look. Could, if we do that map tour after we get done with this so that'd be a good time to try it out and see what's up yeah. right so um right we're going this way I need to get this right, done so you're on about fields one, five, and six, and seventy-two. Uh, yes, yeah, because seventy-two yeah. covers. And, uh, yeah, and that's fairly like what that price is cheap. Yeah, I think so. One hundred and thirty thousand, roughly, for the two. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I know that five, six, and seventy-two are grass, but since we're trying to kick off those cows, we could actually convert fifteen into another field which would be decent by 14 converted into a, you know a cereal crop or whatever we want to do yeah. and then uh 70 uh or one we could plan into a crop so yeah so any contracts on these well actually uh, one seven, has sunflowers seven, on it seven uh, field seven is 1.4 acres Seven. Oh, uh, we're seven. So, oh, right. So that's there, right? So that that's roughly the same as seventy-two. Pretty close, yeah. Or, or even, or even one. So. But. I don't know what I was thinking field was. Six, field six is one point five, uh, one point five six acres. Field six is. Mm -hmm. um, field five is one point three six acres. Uh, what's their ones? Field. Yeah, that's it. I don't know where fields. Um, field seven. 
think so. No, field Maybe seven 72. is a different field. Seventy-two. There's no contracts on field seventy-two. Field, there is field seventy dollars. Uh, so field seventy is three point three seven acres. I was going to make another suggestion, but we're good. Okay. Uh, and and uh, what was the other, other suggestion? Go for it. I'm just messing with you because you already bought it. <laughs> Why do you? <laughs> the so leprechauns made me do it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> um, field 69 is actually a good field. Oh, 69? Field 62 and 63 and 50, 257 for those, those three fields. 338 for six fields. 58, 56, 57, 59, 60, 61. That's a nice little parcel field there. Yeah. And that's nearly 900 grand for field P. I tell you, I tell you, a real good deal is fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty, and sixty one for three three hundred thirty eight. Yeah, that's what I said to you. That's what I yeah. said to you. Yeah, that, 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 was that what you were go, talking about? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's actually a very good deal. Like that. That's the kind of deal that what I would do is I would sell um, field 47, 46 <coughs> and probably buy that parcel of land under. Right, because field 59 itself is probably about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger than field 47. So you wouldn't really lose any acreage, you wouldn't think. And then you would actually turn field 58 or 57 into another big field, which would be bigger than field 46. Mm. So, like, just buying that those six fields on there would probably be a better option than buying 47 and 46, you know, that kind of way. Mm -hmm. And then you can work from there. You know, move into field 62 and 63 and 53 uh, after that would probably be the next parcel of land you would buy. Then you'll be going into field 67, um, 65, 64 will be the next one. And then you just start buying the bottom, all that corner under, as you go along. Yeah, that's it you're saying, yeah. Yep, something we can look forward to. For sure. Like, yeah. I like field, <clears throat> like I like the three fields that we have, like the six that we have up by the farm. But I'd be willing to let field 18 and 17 go, right, to buy the set of likes of field 62, 63, and 53, or even fields 8 and 9. Yeah, 8's a big, a big field. field. Mm -hmm. So I would be willing to let 18 and 17 go just to buy one of those big fields. Yeah. You know? Even field 80 is a big field, field 79 is a big field, field 81 is a big field, mm -hmm. either. Yep. Sure, look at we'll, we'll discuss as we're going along. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> since we already got it planted, I say we get the harvest off of it first, and then we can look at it next. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. that's it. Right, so what's planted in these fields that we just bought then? Um, we said there's three grass fields. Mm -hmm. grass fields. And sunflowers. Oh, and and sunflowers uh, in the 72, one. 72, 
72, 5 and 6 grass. So Ooh. we could we could mow them, turn them into silage bales. Mm -hmm. Or even want them into hay bales and then store the hay and then Yeah, the we, need, we do need hay, hay bales. And then we can actually, yeah. Um, what we might do then is keep one of those fields, even maybe even 72 because that's that's going to be where our um, animals are. So keep 72 as grass. Mm -hmm. And then we can train and then we can turn the likes of field 5 and 6 and then into arable fields also. Okay. The same as field, the same as field 15. Yep. So you can turn field 15 into an arable field now if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Off that. So and we, and we still got to we still got to fertilize 20, 18, 14 and 17. Yeah. So what I'm thinking then is we could turn field 15 into an arable field now, right? Okay. Uh, right. Do what we want to do on the rest of them. Field 1, um, is that grown? Yeah, is that... it's growing. It's sunflowers. Right, so does it need um, composition or anything? Does it need fertilization? That I didn't look at. I just looked to see if it had something on it and does whether it, it was growing or not. Lime. No, it doesn't need lime. It doesn't need fertilization. Well, so... Uh, and I should be in the next five minutes I should be done with uh, field 46 planting. So, so I'm thinking that we'll turn field 15 into an arable field now. We can get that turned around into whatever we want to do in it. Yep, that's fine. Um, okay, what is our time on our broadcast? Two hours, which is we, which would be perfect. We normally go about two and a half hours. Yeah. Uh, and if we're going, if we're going to do a um, quick map tour, that'll be an extra half hour of another broadcast if we're going to do it that way. Yeah. Um, so we can turn field 15 into arable, we turn it around, we get a replant it, and then we can call time on this broadcast and then we can jump on to um, Obscena and do our map tour. Yeah, no worries. How does that grab you by the short and curlies? The leprechaun made me do it. Now you're talking. Those <laughs> 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 so leprechauns are out of control. That grass is cut, so can't you do um so we don't really need to do we I think you can actually use the um The fertilization stays. So so what all you gotta do is whatever it says to do, whether it be plowing or Liming or whatever. I think I think it's good to go. I think all you got to do is grab the cedar and plant it whatever you want. Or if you're wanting me to put sunflowers, sugar beets, or something like that in it, it'll have to be cultivated. Or the yeah. Cause what, whichever one you have is direct, so... Yeah, no, no, I'm, um, well, I'm do, because it's still on the first uh, growth stage, you can actually use the cultivator to cut the grass, to make it into a field. So You'd, that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm now turning field 15 into an arable field, so I'm actually cultivating it here. You'd, so I'm, it, cultivating, I'm but, cultivating the grass out of it. Yeah, but... So if, when you come up, then you can... If you hear him, ha, ha, hang on. If you you don't have to cultivate it if you direct seed it with the the cedar that you had. So if you're going to put I in wheat or any of that, well, I'm thinking. I was thinking of putting in uh, another cotton harvest, so we'll have three cotton harvests. Okay, no, that's fine. Then they'll, yeah, you're right. Then it'll have to be cultivated. Yeah, you're right. With tree cotton harvest, we can look into buying that parcel of land down there, um, 56, 57, 58, 61, 62, 63, whatever it is. Okay. I'm good with oh. it. Sounds good to me. 
because like I don't think we're going to be able to do a whole lot more on this map so we might as well start to try and buy 80% of the fields and then get our animals all up and running and stuff like that you know yep sounds good to me because like well if we're not going to be upgrading our uh, vehicles which we're not then there's normally need to be keeping all the money in the bank because we don't have any loan around like so it's no we don't have a loan Finishing up here. Last pass. Yeah, and then sure, we can put cotton in this field as well. So. Okay. So that'd be three fields of cotton. Uh, we have three fields of grass then to cut when we come back on next time we're on this. And then we'll have all those uh, other fields and the harvest and all as well, like so. Mm -hmm. Our next broadcast should be a lot of harvest and fun. Whereas in this one here, uh, yeah. were like well, in this month, in, in this um, um, broadcast, it was more turning the fields around, getting them ready, getting them oh, planted. Honestly, I'm kind of glad it was that because the last time we were on here, it was harvesting and I got harvested out. So, I'm thinking that's what we do, and then so it'll be a different broadcast for our viewers as well. Like, so it will be the same thing. Mm hmm. Yeah, I agree. All right, I'm heading that way. I got but this the way we play, guys. Um, we don't just do that. stuff for the fun of it. We we discuss what we need to be done, what we can do, if we agree with it or not, and then like the good thing about uh, the way you're able to buy fields in this, that if you do decide not to buy those fields after you're buying them, you get the money back. So like you're not losing anything, so sometimes you just go with what you make up your mind and just go with it. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think that's where you and I work well together because we we farm kind of similar, so yeah, and have Pretty the much. Same, yeah, and have the same kind of taste for tractors and things of that nature. Plus, at the same time, even if we didn't have the same taste, we always just, no, we always discuss the the pros and the cons, mm. and we talk about it. Like, um, the reason why I on our that new Polish map, that Percy Marrow, or whatever you want to call it, peace mass so so what so whoa whoa right. whoa we um, like I'm using the new. John Deere um, 84 uh, the 8R because I, I I like the sound of it and I like those big flotation tires. Mm -hmm. um, but I also like 450 horsepower is not really to be crying about. I mean it's a it's a good size horsepower, you know. So and then you came along and you were going to buy the case. We explained about the fend. You tried the fend and you went, oh, I'm going to get this because of the same horsepower mm -hmm. because like. Like, like what the case is what 313 is the max horsepower yeah that's it where, it's pretty low I mean, where the fence jumps straight up to 425 I think it was mm -hmm. 426 or 3 or something like that it's yeah. something weird right so we discussed it and then we're like yeah, yeah let's go for it because it made sense to go for that rather than mm -hmm. the case even though you, you like the case as well like so That's where we work. We discuss things. We. I hope we don't lose a fertilizer state because it looks like it's turning it darker than normal. Nope. Uh, like even if we do this plan, we can. We can, we can like it's not going to kill us to jump into a, a tractor with a. It might. Fertilizer. And, well, it might if um, the leprechauns decide to take your tractor. <laughs> Pesky leprechauns. Oh, 
Uh, I think we turned this back to grass, will we? <laughs> I'm sorry you cut out. What did you say? <laughs> I think we turned the potatoes. <laughs> yeah, you definitely cut out for sure. <laughs> All I heard was, it's quitting time. <laughs> Had to call my 143 rep. Oh, count it up. He was sacked. <laughs> he just hasn't. He just hasn't got that memo yet. <laughs> Mr. Tim, if you're listening, sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the memo is on the way. <laughs> it's in the mail. <laughs> it's in the states. You will get it eventually. So all that we like now is fertilizing 2014, 17, and 18, and we're good. And then we should be laid by for the next broadcast. Because it's going to take me a minute or two to plant this. That's why I say we need to invest in that. <laughs> Ooh, that's odd. I've never had that hatch going all over the place. Yeah, in here as well. Um, what you said, we need to fertilize what fields? 20, 17, 18, and 14. couple hours we got quite a bit done just takes a long yeah. time well it takes us it takes us about two two and a half hours to harvest all this right now yeah so it's about about right pretty much like this is the first time we came on this map apart from the harvest of them started where I did no contracts well we had a lot of field work to do so, like, you know that we have a lot of field work to do when I don't do contracts, if you think about mm -hmm. it. <laughs> well, because and we, nine, we actually had nine, quite nine, a bit. Of, ten, I'm doing contracts. Well, we had quite a bit of money built up, so it really wasn't necessary because, I mean, you bought all that land and stuff, and we still got 118000 so. Yeah. And we got every piece of equipment that we need for right now, so. Because I think the baler and stuff we'd been leasing, but we really don't need it quite right now, especially with the AJ pack, because uh, we can do the loose. Field 20. Field 20, didn't you? Field 20, yeah. 20, 17, 18, and 14. So everybody, um, just make sure that you, uh, when you're viewing our channel, uh, Tub Farmer and Chris Larkin, make sure to hit the like button. Also smash the subscribe button as well. And uh, don't forget to check out our uh, PS4 farming community. It's uh, Superior FS Farming. Um, if if you kind of 
if you watch our videos this is pretty much how we farm and stuff and we have a lot of like-minded folks in our community the same way we are uh, be sure to check us out and join us uh, right now we're about 19 members strong and we're looking for more members pretty active group uh, it has up-to-date news uh, Chris is pretty good about keeping us uh, up with uh, what farm sims doing and all the latest mods and stuff like that so check us out and join us and like i said hit 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 the like button and subscribe to us if, if this is if this is something that you like we uh typically we try to broadcast every day uh but life catches up to us and so there may be a few days that we may have to go without broadcasting but uh we'll be definitely putting something out each week whether it be, uh, we've got about three or four maps that we play on. Uh, we've got Peterville, Meadow Grove, uh, Pacific Northwest, and here recently we uh, picked up on uh, Pizzle Malwelzy. I, I don't know how to say it, but the new, the new Pol newest Polish map that came out, and uh, it's it's something similar to uh, Pacific Northwest in a way. Uh, it has the flexibility uh, to combine fields and turn it into, you know, a large uh, map, if you wish. Um, so uh, that's kind of what we do. We try to save Pacific Northwest for the weekends, and typically we get more players on that. I think there's a lot of folks playing it right now. So uh, you're more than welcome to join us. But as we said, when we're broadcasting, uh, there's some rules that apply. You know, we can't have music playing in the background and acting foolish and getting a little out of hand with the cussing or whatnot. But uh, we do have fun on here and joke around, uh, believe it or not, even though uh, we're serious farming and, and get the work done. So. Also, just to rant, right? Um, just say you know, guys, um, farm sim really isn't for everybody. Okay, it's not a fast game by any means. All right, mm -hmm. I think the fastest we would go is when we're doing fast farming, as you probably saw me do earlier on. That is the fastest you will go in a farm sim. Okay, farm sim is a very slow, methodical game. You, you people play it because they love the game, but they like it because it's slow. You can relax. Um, you can take your time on it. We like it for mainly two or three reasons, but the main one would be when you're playing with someone on multiplayer, um, you actually get to know another person. Uh, because you spend four or five hours playing with that one person, you actually get to know them very well. And when, uh, like what myself and Tobbs, where we started only a couple of months ago, uh, was the first time we played together in a multiplayer game. And over that space of the months, we became really, really, really good friends. Where he knows about my family, I know about his family, and stuff like that. That, um, but like that's that's what Farmson does. So if that's the kind of way that you want to play, where you want to get to know someone and not run around like complete maniacs with guns in your hands and trying to shoot people dead and dying within thirty seconds and then not having that person playing with you again for another while, then this is the game for you. By all means, come in and join us. Get to know us. We will get to know you. Uh, basically, what happens with farm sim is you don't become farmers anymore. You kind of become like a family family unit rather than mm -hmm. strangers. You know? So if that's if this is the kind of game that you want and you want to kind of have that slowness and relaxation, yeah, this is the game for you. But if the, if you like complete craziness and just going hell for later and bat out of hell and well then farm sim really isn't the game for you it mightn't be the game for you um, well you really well like uh, Tub said come over have a look at our community get to know us you never know we might change your mind and you might actually fall in love with farm sim the very same as we all do yeah as I always say you can join the fats and tub show the fats and tub show <laughs> matter of fact the that's what I'll I'm gonna start. That's what I'm gonna start calling it, the Pats and Tub Show. Uh, uh, and that's exactly what I'm talking about right there, folks. 
call the cops. Yes, so he's going to call the Fatham Social and I'm just going to call our community the Le uh, Leprechaun Farming. <laughs> they rub your shoes. <laughs> uh, that is pretty good. So if you got, hey, what do we like now? Let's see. Let's see, 18, 17. No, you got them all. Oh, shoot. We're done. I got them all, buddy. Man. What were you doing in this past time? I was doing those four fields. Working. Working nine to five. What a way to make a living. <laughs> yeah, the Fats and Tub show. I kind of like that. That's catchy. I'm, start, I'm starting to like that. Fats and tubs, it sounds like a dishwasher. Church yeah. Detergent. Hey, what better way <laughs> to make a farm show a reality TV show? The Fats and Tub Show. Alright, I'm going to fill this cedar up. Now, why are you here and in the tractor again? What the hell is going on? I gotta, it, when there's work to be Scarecrow done, tubes. I gotta be in two places at one time. Scarecrow tubs. Oh no. You're, you're yes, one of these, it's, you're it's one of these pesky, uh, really nail-biting bosses. It makes it rough. No, no, we can't have two tubs. What the hell is going on? What, what am I missing? Oh, fertilizer. This, this is a case of holy water right here. Well, it won't. It won't fill up all the way. It's holy water right there. That's what we need. Hmm. Don't need to throw more. <sighs> nope. Tubs. It don't. That is oh bizarre. It will only fill it. On. And you have collision on. Okay, he's gone now, but you have collision as well. <laughs> right. So. Let me park this and run around shutting gates. And then we'll, we'll be. Yes, guys, that's what we always do. For some reason, we always run and show our gates as well, also. It's just, um, it's a habit that we have doing. Well, we're so busy going in and out of the gates, it's not worth, you know, open and close, open and close type deal. Okay, I gotta get it lined up a little bit better here. Sorry, they know me. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, look Sarah, at that. They're like, Sarah, look at that leprechaun. leprechaun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at his little legs go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I, <coughs> I've got six and a half hours on my tractor. Serious? Mm hmm. Yep. Because remember that one day I was doing kind of all the work on the fields while you were doing yeah. those contracts yeah. to build up that money and it. Yeah, uh, that's what it was. Yeah. I was doing a lot of contracts back then, so. I think that's all open. Getting the cow pasture, that's open also. Yeah, because that's the first time that tractor shut off in the last two and a half hours. Well, another day is down at the farm. Let's see what we'd like on our... We're at 75%. Mm-hmm. Not that's bad. That's actually quite good. Not bad. Okay. okay guys, well that's it for myself and Tubbs, okay, uh, first of all thanks a million for joining us, uh, I know um, like we were saying earlier on, two and a half hours of watching two guys just driving around the field, um, really isn't exciting as you, you would half expect, unless this is the kind of game that you're really into. Um, we always say that to really enjoy um, farm sim, you really have to, have to have some kind of background in farming. Um, if you're only new to the game, it's, it's, it's one of those very hard games to grasp, 
but once you get you know get and, and you like it then that's it it's just all full trolls really um so for myself uh, go and check our um, channels uh, chris larkin and my uh, partner in farm pub farmer check us out um like yep. and sus- uh, hit that subscribe button smash that like button trolling us a wall or something if you want i don't mind just long as, <laughs> um, just long as it presses um also go and check out our community channel okay and um, superior fs farm um, it's a great place to be for uh, fuller friendly people and we love to have you there so from myself i'm going to say adios and remember what we always says the leprechauns made us do it and folks for me thanks for joining the fats and tub show and we'll see it and i'm going to be gone so uh i know chris may do a couple of uh, broadcasts and stuff but i'll be gone until saturday i'll be back saturday folks and we'll pick up where we left off probably pacific northwest probably possible uh friday or saturday and sunday but in the meantime thanks for tuning in thanks for watching our videos uh we've always said we're not professional youtubers we just do this for fun but we really do appreciate anybody that comes in comments and views our videos and if you like what you see like to or uh, fat or uh, chris said uh smash the like button subscribe to us and join back in with us with that keep farming on adios <laughs>